Here's the MDX ancestor function. And the idea of the ancestor function is to simplify things so we don't have to do this chaining of the parent, parent, parent moving up in a hierarchy. So I've got a little better code example here for you. If I can figure out how to do that. Oh, I select this. Down here you go. <clears throat> Here's a little better screenshot. Um, so what we have down here is here's the code we're going to show you over in the editor, which I might as well get right on over into that. So um, here's this code down in here, and I've got a little better explanation on the PowerPoint. So the first thing we have down here is we're coming through down here, and we're using this calculated member with member measures X, you know, and blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> As we drop that on down, now we come down here and we have a calculation. So the first thing we have in uh, block one it, down here, which is the level expression. All right, here's my level expression, and I'm using current me member so I can loop on through it. Block two, I'm going to return the uh, internet sales amount. So here's my uh, block two internet sales amount, which is going to be returned. And that's a little bit of a screw up over in here. The arrow moved on over. And here's the X. If we follow that on down, the internet sales amount. Oh, it's X dot X, yeah, on zero. So as we get this percentage, we drop on down. We're going to format this as percentage, and I used the zero percent. I could have just put it in percent down here like this, as you can see the formatting coming on through. Um, now we're going to use the descendants function, which we cover in another video, and we're descending down from. Uh, Australia and we're using the self to descend down from Australia and in a minute I'll go in and, sh and show you that code down here and change these options on out so you can see the different functions which will affect ancestor up here. So now descending down from Australia I've got the ancestor function which is going to come through and calculate based on the ancestor of Australia which is I'm sorry the an these an Australia down here is the ancestor so I'm going to calculate the percentage of sales. So here we are, <clears throat> I've come through and here's the code we just examined. Here's my ancestor function and I'm using self and when I execute that down here, here's my X 43%. Now when I change the descendant function, you'll see the ancestor function change on out too. So here again, I've changed the descendant down here and I'm asking for a before. So now what I'm asking is on my descendants, you know, as I drop on down from the current member, which is Australia, okay, rather than retrieving those current members that we had over in here, I'm using and passing through the descendant function, and I'm changing that, or now I'm saying, okay, go before, and obviously before is 100% of the calculated measure. Now I've come down here and I've changed it again. All the code for the ancestor is the same. I've just changed the, the uh, descendant function and I asked for after and not the same from that ignore the comment so now here's my results and as you see as I drop on down now I'm descending on down and bringing in the percentage of sales using my ancestor function what percentage of these individuals were of Australia let's see as we drop on down effectively it's, it's they're all going to be about zero percent uh, there may be some small numbers in here uh, because I have uh, 3,600 odd rows in the uh, cell set as I return that on across. So there's my ancestor function rather than going parent parent looping on up and then I'm bringing back down the descendants so my ancestors is bringing back down this X doing my calculation and then I'm using descending on down and saying what percentage is that calculation.